Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Second Chronicles chapter 11 tonight, and we're going to start at verse 1. Now when Rehoboam came to Jerusalem, he assembled from the house of Judah and Benjamin 180,000 chosen men who were warriors to fight against Israel, that he might restore the kingdom to Rehoboam. But the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah the man of God, saying, Speak to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all Israel in Judah and Benjamin, saying, Thus says the Lord, You shall not go up or fight against your brethren. Let every man return to his house, for this thing is from me. Therefore they obeyed the words of the Lord and turned back from attacking Jeroboam. And Jeroboam didn't end up being a very good king at all. He actually ended up making idols and turning the heart the hearts of Israel away from God, which was a terrible thing. But it was the Lord's judgment to take the kingdom away from Rehoboam because of the disobedience of his father Solomon, um, because he basically established a bunch of idols throughout all of Israel because of all, because of all the foreign wives that he married. In order to please them, he set them up. So God was like, uh, no. So Rehoboam... When the kingdom did split, he was like, "Oh, let's reunite this thing. I'm not. I'm not a fan. I want. I, I want this to be one kingdom like it was before." And God said, "No." And what did they do? They obeyed the words of the Lord and turned back from attacking Jeroboam. And as I was reading that earlier, I thought to myself, "What would have happened if they had attacked?" You know, obviously, lots and lots of men on both sides would have died. Um, would the kingdom have been reunited? Would Judah have been? wiped out which side would have won would the would the um nations around israel try to take advantage of the situation and then attack them and we'll never know we have no idea what could have happened i mean in in real life we can't ever know what would have happened you know what if i didn't start a youtube channel what if i never played dark souls or mortal kombat x what if uh, i didn't work at the job that i'm working at now or what if i changed jobs years ago um not mentioning the place but i feel like i honestly should have chose changed jobs years ago and yet because of the job i'm working at i met robbie and because of that i have my longest standing series on my youtube channel not that he gets a ton of views or is ultra popular or anything but i put work into it i tried put forth that effort I don't think that's for nothing. So who knows what the future holds? Who knows what's going to happen? But if the Lord speaks to you, don't worry about what would have happened if you had done something else. Even if you th Rehoboam goes on to um, take in or to build up strongholds throughout Judah and Benjamin, I guess just in case Israel decided to attack him. Uh, Jeroboam, like I said, turned... Unfortunately, and this was not of the Lord at all, to idols. It talks about in 1 Kings how the Lord was basically like, uh, guess what, Jeroboam, I gave you this kingdom. What the heck are you doing, man? Your descendants aren't going to stay on this throne forever. I'm gonna t as I raise you up, I'm going to tear you down. And he drew, and in 2 Chronicles 11, a lot of the Le he drove the Levites off saying, anyone can be of the priesthood. Anyone can worship these golden calves that I've set up. And the Levites were like, well, I, it's not so much that they said, and no, Jeremiah was like, uh, and you're, you guys aren't going to be my priests. Go away, shoot. So all the Levites, they went down to Jerusalem in Judah, and they were like, okay, we're going to serve God here. So all these things happened. Jeroboam, all the stuff that happened with Jeroboam, that wasn't of the Lord. But the kingdom being split, that was of the Lord. So what would have happened if Jeroboam had actually stayed in obedience? Would the two kingdoms have gotten back together? Eventually, would there have been unity at some point? Would at least one of the kings of Israel not been uh, an idol worshiper and actually tried to follow God? He didn't obey the Lord. We'll never know. And the and what the note I'll end this on is what we can know is when we obey the Lord, since he knows a lot more than us, since he's a lot wiser than us, and since part of what he, all the things that he knows that we don't know, is literally the entire future of everything, when he speaks, we can trust him. And we don't know what would have happened. But we do know by obeying him, it's a lot better than whatever we would have done. And if we disobey him, 
we can only guess. We can only wonder the blessings that we missed. And I'm gonna and, I, and at the end of this video, I do want to issue forth an apology that I did not upload anything at the beginning of Thursday. We're into uh or even I usually upload like one day like uh, this is Friday's upload, but it's Saturday early Saturday morning. Fairly normal for me at this point, but I didn't upload anything for Thursday, and that was my fault. I had plans, and I didn't follow those plans like I should have. So it was simply my fault, and I apologize for that. I'm going to be getting out two uh, message videos and two non-message videos. One will be a video game, Mortal Kombat X, and the other, eh, I'll just uh, let you see what that is. And I'll try to remember to make this announcement at the beginning or the end of the next message video, which I'm going to record right now. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.